What is up YouTube, Lazy Lama here, and here we are back with some more Idle Heroes once again on the good old Abyss Faction Lock account. And Noodle is here too. Hello. I good, am good or bad, he is here. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, we're towards the end of the Profit Orb week. I know things are a little weird. This is probably coming out pretty late in the week too, because technically at the time... Uh, dude, these videos have been like really behind schedule lately. Um, but anyways, Profit Orb stuff, fun stuff. Um, Heroic Miracle... Not really beneficial for either of us on this account. And for this account, I do benefit from the Morax at the end, which is awesome. However, I looked and it didn't look like Morax was added to the Relic Store yet. I don't know when that normally gets updated. I thought it was the same week as Profit Orb, but maybe it's the week after Profit Orb. Um, so nonetheless... Well, wasn't this week supposed to be yeah. Heroic Summons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed that for um, a good guess someone had. I think... Ghosty mentioned it, but something about getting online, like in lined up for a certain like holiday coming up that they want to be a certain event. So I think that's something that they do do from time to time. But nonetheless, I don't want to waste too much time on this. Uh, let's get right to the openings. My main goal, honestly, of this episode is to just set myself on food. I might not even like I'm gonna do build ups, but I might save a lot of my abyss food so when I get more Morax copies, I can like really. I mean, honestly, technically, I can build them up to eight now. Um, because I'll get the copy from Profit Orb, so I'll have the second copy. Because I don't think I currently have one, do I? So I don't. Pretty sure I don't have a second Morax. Yeah, no. But I'm not gonna waste any other food on in in Abyss. Like Abyss is completely on lockdown. As much as you know, I'd like to push some other people forward. I do want to push him. I was really in the debate between Nakia and him, um, as I already have two copies of Nakia, and I could. She could be on a very... I could have all the copies right now for Nakia. Like, literally this minute with the, my relics and stuff. Like, <laughs> But I don't want to. I want to I wanna, I wanna get this other guy going first. But I'm ready to pop for orbs. How about you? I am ready. Sadly, I was not un able to get enough. If, if this honestly went to when it was supposed to, I would have had enough to do two full run-throughs. Because I could have waited towards the end of the week to do it, and then the month would have reset. And I would have gotten all the ones for the next month, and I would have been able to do two run-throughs of this. Sadly, it's that not going to... nice. Yeah, I would have two more copies just from, from this. Um, sadly, it's not going to happen, though, so we're just doing our 80. Uh, so let's go. Let's do it. I'm going Abyss. I mean, I'm assuming you are as well, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the Abyss. Boom. First 10. All right. Poor start, but that's okay. One five-star. Food. Yeah, well, you're cheating, so. Well, you're, you're right. Okay. Come on, game. Oh, my. Okay. I did my first four and I got no five stars. Whew. Here's one. I don't know exactly how many I'm going, but I think that's six. I'll double check after that. Dude, this is probably the worst profit orbs I've ever done. It's bad, huh? I needed two more pulls. One. Okay. Last one. I legit just got one five star. Out of all of it? Uh huh. Oh. Holy shit. I don't think I've been ever even remotely that unlucky before. Ow. That That's not good. Actually hurts. Oh, a lot. <laughs> That's painful, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, one. It's not even like you can do another opening. Honestly, with the luck I just did, I don't even know if I would. My god. I mean, it'd be for the Morax hobby, but holy shit, that is that is about as bad as it gets. Uh, ow. Ouch. Big ouch. Wow. Um, anyways, I guess I'm going to go through my buildup. We're going to cut here. We're going to do all my buildup of my four stars and try to get things going. And um, I'm going to do all that kind of off camera. As Honestly, it's kind of just boring and confusing to watch anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go through that. I do want to state uh, I didn't show it off last video I'm not gonna be showing it off this video most likely I did unlock the void gate thing I've been playing around with it noodles since um since we looked at it They actually came out with a new part of it um, So there's even oh. more to it. 
Um, pretty interesting stuff. I don't know how, how beneficial it's going to be. It seems like you get some resources, but it doesn't seem anything massive. Um, but hey, it's extra resources nonetheless. An extra daily thing to do. But let's get through these and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, so we worked through all our random um, four-star stuff. Uh, I still have some specific four-stars I have to go through for Abyss. Quite a bit there still. Um, but we're going to do our um, five-star summons. I only have one elite, and then I've got uh, 14 five-stars I'm going to go through. We have 15 five-stars and four elites. All right, let's do it. Um... Okay. Nothing out of my random is very useful, but I wasn't expecting really much other than food anyways. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the elite. Nothing yep. good. Two good things, actually. I got a cruise and an ignis. Nice, dude. You're lucky this week, yeah? Doing well. Doing yeah. well. That was like a really good pull right there. Um... Okay, so I've worked down a lot of stuff. Um, I have quite a few five stars and everything. I had, I had a lot of four stars. Um, still no six stars rolling in here. None of this stuff is elite and can go really up. So I can build a couple of these into six stars, but leaving them five is not really a big deal either. Um, in here, uh, we got this dude and another copy of him. So we could go to nine star with him, but I would need two to go to ten. So it would be a bit of food to push him that way, but that's probably where I'll go. Um, just for, you know, condensed food there. Uh, I think it's a bit of five stars here. Um, we'll be able to pump him up to, you know, probably a seven star at least. Didn't get super lucky, so I doubt we'll get much higher than that, and I don't have any six star food already, so, you know, we'll dump what we can in, and that's probably honestly it. We'll probably get the seven star with him. And then here, I've got a lot of food in my forest right now. Um, still though, nothing that can go to a ten star. Um, it's really sad. Um, oh? Mm, well, there's a couple things like I have, but I don't have enough copies to go with anything there anyways. Um, nothing still. Decent bit of stuff, but I mean, I got three copies of them, two copies of Molasses, I think one of my bag. Molasses is obviously relatively easy to get, I suppose, but I was hoping we got a bunch of them today in the pulls there. Uh, but nothing too crazy. I don't know who I'm going to build up. Um, obviously, we have the two six stars. I need to start working towards that. I don't really want to make any more six stars here. I'd like to just start working someone up. Um... So I already have three um, Demon Hunters. However, again, I think I had a Molass in the bag. Uh, I do not have a Molass in the bag. So I might commit with Demon Hunters, um, at least to 9-star, and then figure it out from there. I was really hoping to get something. But even my bag here, I, just, I don't have anything where I have five copies of anything, which I mean, kind of makes sense, but still. Um, that's the play. I do have the two Darks and Lights, or I guess the two of each that I need. Um, to complete heroic miracles, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, I wasn't able to craft any. I did create um, or craft uh, a six star of each, which I guess is cool. Work those towards nine stars and eventually make food there. Not gonna happen anytime soon, but <laughs> condense it nonetheless. Get those out of the inventory. So I'm gonna summon these in um, and these in, which should give me my heroic miracle to be done. Um, claim all that stuff. Um, Nothing too crazy there, but, you know, no, no good copy of anything. Uh, ton of ton of good stuff coming in, though. All the profit orbs. Fun stuff. Uh, actually, yeah, man, I, I have 13 profit orbs away. I easily would have had that banked. Um, again, not... My luck was so bad anyways, I'd be nervous to do it again. Uh, I don't know what happened to me this week, but uh, we got completely screwed with our profit orbs. So I'm going to work through this, try to condense this down. I got like, four star specifics uh, for Abyss here to work in. Um, I'll kind of come back and show you guys the full condensed team. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. So progress update. Um, not a whole ton done, I suppose. Noodle didn't really get much done other than just make a ton of food. Um, he's kind of waiting on building a 10 star. Um, I myself yeah. just kind of condensed some stuff down to six stars. Um, I have not, I could build this guy up, but I might do this off camera, build him up towards a nine. Actually, I probably not have quite the food to do it. Um, be very close actually to be able to get him up to a nine, but again, not really useful right now. Um, I don't need a nine star for anything other than like, I could use it on like a Nikia, but again, I want to save all my nine star, 10 star stuff. I want to try to get that all going for Moax. Um, 
kind of something here. I have a lot I need to condense here. I have not made a decision in my forest on who to start building. I think I'm going to just do Demon's Lair in hopes that it happens. Um, get her up to a 9 at least, and then... Yeah, I mean, I got so much food I want to condense down. And then Moex, um, we're actually getting to an 8 star here. Um, I do have the the food here to get him going, so we're going to do that, um, which is pretty nice. I mean, that's a pretty big upgrade. He's probably worth putting back in the front line now rather than putting him in third. Um, he's probably going to be, honestly, he's going to be quite a bit tankier than um, what's-his-face, especially with uh, just the way his skills are. Um, I, th I think he's going to do a lot better in front front spot with the damage reduction he has, so we can uh, we can pop that over in, in defense here. Um, it's, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to test it out. Um, honestly, most of the teams I get are either way above me or a decent bit lower than me that I just go one pop. Um, it's hard to find an actual good team here. Um, that guy's three points, but, uh, oh, I didn't even have him on the team. Doesn't matter. <laughs> My attack team's wrong. Um, that's another good three points. But I think that in front is probably the way to go. Um, what I can do is do some tower pushing. Um, we do have a little bit of time this episode. I don't want to drag this out too long. Um, I suppose, suppose we could do a bit. I don't think I've done tower pushing since I've had an E5 either. Um, yeah, I definitely haven't. So, like, that could be could be worth. Oh, my God. Dude, I have so many five stars, I just realized. Holy crap. That just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. <laughs> I got a lot of forest. A lot of forest food. It's just nothing that I can commit to to go to a 10 star. I only have nine star commitments. And I just, I'm, like, nervous wow. to commit without having that 10 star commitment. Because if all of a sudden I pull something, it's like, oh, crap, now I can do that. Um, yeah. But it's not a big deal. Um, nonetheless, let's uh, let's watch this one because we got hung up on this. And then I'll do some skips if this is no problem. I know we were pretty hard stuck on this one. Um, but I can do two of you guys. Is we can see if we can push any farther in uh, sealed the seal land if, uh, if that's up. We might not actually even be able to beat this. Uh, scary as although we got out of the CC, I think. So we might be okay. I didn't put a uh, Morax in front. Um, that should do it, yeah. So that should do it right there. Uh, most coming out there. Morax actually doing second most damage on my team. Um, yeah, second most damage on my team there, which is pretty good. Um, let's throw him out in the front spot and kind of see how things go. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna skip a couple, kind of go to where we get stuck. You guys know how Tower is. We got stuck instantly. Um, once again, you know how Tower is. I wasn't expecting the E5 there to free us up much on the tower. Um, realistically, we need to get something else that does a lot of damage going on this team really bad. He's getting CC'd pretty hard here. CC in general is coming down rough on us. Yeah, we're just getting bopped by these guys. These corpse demons don't give us any hope, I don't think. I don't even think good RNG is going to save me from that. We'll watch one more and then I'm just going to bail on this. Um, if we get lucky with the corp corpse demon hit, maybe. Yeah, okay. We took one out. He does some damage. I still think we're going to have a problem here, maybe. No, I think we're good now. There's only one Marex of them. Rex does damage. Yeah, he starts popping. He was like chunking, like big chunks. We'll see how he does. I'm curious what he's going to do when he's actually up on par, but I feel like he might do some alright damage for us. Um... And we instantly lose to the next one. It's going to be a struggle back and forth every battle, I feel like. Um, we'll try it one time. See how it looks one time. And then uh, we'll just go to Sealand. Seal land. This looks beatable, but I don't know. These light and dark mixes can sometimes be really tough. I don't know. It looks like we have this one in the bag, though. I didn't see how we lost the first one, but I said that looked just brutal. This comes back and he just gets bopped. Our whole team's alive. What what happened? I don't know. I guess we'll watch the next one. All darks? I, I feel like I'm in that weird spot where somehow I just keep freeing myself. That one just bopped me. Okay, <laughs> that's over. We'll watch that one more time and see if that happens again. But that looks, looks painful. I think it's a bunch of sleeplesses. Uh, okay, where's the... 
Is it round two that it happened last time? I think it was. Oh, we're killing. Dude, Mordax is bopping him. I mean, it's not an insane damage or anything, but, like, surprising. Definitely surprises yeah. me a bit. Yeah. A lot more than I thought he was going to be doing. It, like, it's noticeable when he hits things with his special ability. Like, their health, like, physically drops. Just drops. <laughs> yeah, like, physically drops. Like, yeah, I mean, it's not, like, it's not a one-shot. I think we lose this one. I don't want to keep watching these. It won't go too long. I do want to do sealing, so we'll see where we go with this. Um, the all lights. I think putting him in front is definitely the play. I'm being tankier. Yeah, that. <laughs> oof. Big oof. Uh, but let's see if we can progress this. I doubt it. Once again, I don't think we can. I don't think this is able to be pushed. But we'll see. I want to say it's more of a damage, like us taking too much damage than doing enough. Yeah, yeah, as you can see. We just get kind of bopped. So that's what I thought it was. But, uh, yeah. You got anything for him, Noodle? No. Alrighty then. Well, if you guys enjoyed, please take a second, smack that like button. And, uh, yeah, as always, I guess we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.